Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Blue Sync on Thursday, September 5th. That means it's after Labor Day, and that means the end of the year is upon us. I know it seems like it's a really long, far away way, but trust me, it's going to be here before we know it. So now is the time to start um, planning for award season. And I know, again, it seems like it's a long way out, but in actuality, we do need to make sure that we go through some of these steps I'm about to show you now, because we do have a blackout period coming to us as starting in October. So in Dash is where we have to make sure that all, everything to do with Teams is notated correctly. So as many things that feed from Account Tech to Dash, the team information is not one of them. We have teams in Account Tech. It's kind of how they're paid on closings and such, but how they're marketed and how they look for the awards season is not done in Account Tech. It's only done in Dash. So you do need to access Dash in order to make some of these changes to run your report to make sure that you know who's being notated as a team and uh, who's not being notated as a team if they are. So we're gonna go ahead and show you a few things. I've got the chat box open, so feel free to type in questions if you have any, um, or feel free to unmute as well as we go through this. So the first place I wanna take you is desk. So in mycbdesk.com, you wanna go to where it says My Business, Awards and Production, and go to Award Resources, and you'll see that very first option right there is the National Awards Criteria Chart. If you haven't gone in here to take a look and print it out, I highly recommend doing that, posting it in your break room um, or sending it to your agents. A lot of agents don't know how to get to that award criteria. So once that launches, once you click that, it is a PDF. You can download it, send it out, print it, whatever you might want to do. And you'll see as we zoom in, we have awards based on individual, a duo, which is a one to two agent team, a medium, which is three to six agents and large, which is seven plus, that's a change. It used to just be small team, one to three, or large team, four and above. So this is a change. It's gonna be a change for the agents. And then you can see for any of our managers on the call, we have an office award as well. So you'll see it's based on a GCI and units. And this is for residential. Commercial have their own kind of set of awards. And if you have commercial agents in your offices, you can go to CBC desk and pull down the same information for them, but it is completely separate. They have separate um, standards, separate awards. So this is for regular residential, land, global luxury, everything like that. So you'll see as you scroll down, it starts at the top with the International Society of Excellence, and then it goes down to their first, which is International Sterling Society. Now, if you are in the state of Michigan, we do have an additional award that's called the Silver Society. That's a Schmidt specific award. And yes, I do practice saying that Schmidt specific award that doesn't show up on this chart. So I haven't actually confirmed with Jason what the levels are for 2024, but we'll get that and we'll get that out to Michigan. But again, that's a Michigan only award. So you'll see that it has everything for the standards. Now agents don't need both. They need one or the other. So if, for example, um, for example, right here, if you have an agent that has maybe 110000 in adjusted gross commission income, but they have 20 units, they would win the award. So you don't have to have both. You have to have one or the other. You have to be above that threshold in one of the two categories in order to fall into uh, that award category. So that's kind of how that chart works. Again, big change here with the duo medium and large. It used to just be small and large, so big change. So we do need to make sure that we now jump into Dash so that we can have you check for your offices, your teams, because it's really hard to do on the company level when we have nine different Dashes and every individual kind of likes to change how they operate through the year. So if we can have you go in here, work with your managers to make sure these are accurate, that would be really great. We ourselves can make changes today. We can make changes through September. At some point in early October, there's a blackout. So what that means is we can still make changes through the end of the year to affect the awards, but we can't do them ourselves. We have to email the awards team. And as you can imagine with so many different global bankers, the awards team gets pretty slammed. So it's, it's really crucial that we get this done ourselves now before that blackout period goes into effect. So we're gonna jump into Dash now. Now, the great thing with that fact that Account Tech does feed many, many things, just not Teams, is we don't get into Dash a lot anymore, right? It used to be something we have to do every day if you were here before Account Tech, but now we just don't really have to do it. So if you're newer, if you don't have never even accessed Dash, just reach out to your RSCs or myself, um, Kelly, Jessica, we can all help you with this because it may be a little bit different for those of you that maybe never have gotten in Dash. So if you are in Desk, you will see that you have a Dash square, um, or if you search for 
just by putting dash up here, it will come up where you can auto log in. It's the same username and password as desk, but if you don't know the uh, the direct login, which is just dash.coalbanker.com, just get in there through desk. It's super easy. So once dash launches, this is what it looks like. This is the particular one for Michigan. Uh, like I mentioned, based on DBA location and such, we do have nine different dash uh, platforms. But what you'll want to do is come over here where it says people and you wanna go to people home. So again, people, people home. We love people. Now what you wanna do is where it says active people, you wanna click on active teams. So you'll see for in Michigan, we have four different pages of teams. Now on this page here, it's gonna give you the team name, the team type, the ID, the representative, and the status. This will just be active ones because we search for active. You can expo export this to Excel or you can export it to PDF. This can be helpful if you need to sit down with your manager to go over these teams. Cause I don't expect you guys to know. Sometimes we don't know. Sometimes the managers don't even know quite frankly until you have that conversation with the agent. So it'll be a really good place that you can go and export that, have the conversations and then make sure that Dash is then updated to reflect that. So when you click on the team name and we'll just go into this first one here. When you click on the team name, you'll see there's update details or view details. So we'll just go ahead and go into update details. So this right here will tell you it's an associate team, which all of our teams are associate teams. It'll let you have the team name here, the active date. So if you're adding a team, which I'll show you in a minute, it's just going to default to today's date. Now, even though it's today's date, it's going to take all that GCI and all of those units from January 1 from those agents and combine them. And then that is how they're going to get their team award. So even though you create the team today, it's going to backdate that information to January 1. So they'll get the full year parameter. Same thing if you're disbanding a team. Maybe they were in a team today, but they decided to get a divorce and they're not going to be in that team anymore. And you make them, uh, you deactivate the team. They're going to go back to January 1 and get their GCI and units based on their individual levels. So it does, the date doesn't matter as much. It's always going to backdate to Jan 1. You'll see here is the team members. Whoever is the first team, you'll see the dot is right there is the team rep. That can change. Doesn't matter what order it can change. If you need to add to a team, you click the plus symbol here. When you start typing in a name, all the agent um, options will come up. You'll put in today's date. If you need to take somebody off the team, maybe they decided to be an individual or they made a really horrible decision and left the company, uh, you can go ahead and put the deactivation date here. It will take them off the team. If you wanna delete the team completely, you wanna go to actions, deactivate the team. So if the team's staying, you're keeping the team, but members are moving, you do that where, right here where it says team members. If the team's going away completely, no longer team, actions de deactivate the team. So those are the two options there. You can put in the contact details, the phone number. Teams can have bios now. These do show up. Keep in mind, we did that training a little bit ago. CobalBanker.com now has team profiles, which is super nice. So you can actually put the bio in here. Again, we know for individual agents, it has to be done on account tech because it feeds. Teams do not feed. Teams have to be solely put into Dash. Any changes you do make, you just want to click save, just like you normally would anywhere. I'm going to click cancel so I don't screw up this team. And it's going to take you back to your home screen. It does go back to active people, which is a little annoying. So you have to go back to active teams. And then you can take a look at your next one. Now, if you want to add a team, you, you have two agents. They've been operating, marketing, doing everything, getting paid together. But they were never put in Dash, which happens a lot and does screw up awards. You want to go back over to people where we went to people home. But you want to click add new team. And it looks just like that screen. Again, you go through, put in the team name, put in the members here, make sure the team rep is correct, put in the bio. It won't let me go probably because I don't make, oh, it did. You can go in and put in the team photo. Again, this does mark it now on cobalbanker.com. So you want to make sure you're, you're putting that media in there. And then you just go through, um, click other, fill in that information if there is any, which it's actually nonsensical information and then review. It'll have all the information you put in and then click finish. And then your new team will be added. Once you add that team and you go back to people, people home. Oops, drop down active team. It'll then show in the list. You'll see that actions here is also available for you to add a team. 
or you can do it from the people tab. You do not want to add individual agents to Dash. Those have to come from account tag. Everything to do with teams has to be done in Dash. I know that it doesn't really make sense because every account tag feeds everything else. But for this particular case for teams and for awards, we do need to get this done in Dash. So the ask is that you go into Dash for your office. You go into your people, you go into the teams, and then you just take a look, maybe print the list, get with your manager, make sure that all the teams are accurate. If they're not, jump into Dash, remove members, add members, remove teams, add teams. If it's the first time you've done it, don't hesitate to reach out. We can definitely help you with those steps, but we're, we are asking that you do this for all of the teams in your office so that we can make sure that it's accurate information for when it comes to award season. Keep in mind, we also would really like you to go into desk and keep in mind that was here under my business, awards and production, awards resources, and that first chart here. And it is a change, right? It's duo, medium, and large. So it is now three categories for teams as opposed to two where it was prior. So make sure we get this printed out, send it to your agents, particularly those that you know are on teams, because we want to make sure that they are tagged in um, dash correctly. So if you have an agent, maybe they, I'm sorry, if you have a team and maybe they did have three team members, but one kind of just disjoin the team, they're not on the team anymore. If we don't update that into dash, you'll see that they're going to be judged at a different level and that could affect their award. So we need to make sure that we're getting this done for our agents. So I'm going to go ahead and take a drink of my coffee and pause and see if we have any questions that have come up. Keep in mind, we have all of September to get this done. And then come October, if we do need to make changes, we just have to get them over to the brand's award team so that they can update it for us. So as you can imagine, it's just nicer to get it done ourselves. So I don't see any questions. I'm going to go ahead and send this chart out along with, um, oh, I do have a question. One moment. Uh, yes, and I would make sure that the conversation either with you or your manager, that you make it clear with the agents, uh, get their permission to add them as a team. Because some agents market a little bit together. Maybe they co-list on some listings, but they're not actually a team. So we got we need to make sure it's clear in their minds. This chart's super helpful when you have those conversations because it really is up to the agent. Great question. I'm going to send this chart out when I send the recording because this is super important and I only see 35 people on the call. So we probably have a bunch of people still on vacation with the short holiday week. So I'll make sure that I get this information out. Managers, if you have any questions about how teams operate, don't hesitate to reach out to your president, your RVP, myself, and we'll all work through this together. I really appreciate your time today. Thank you so much and look for my follow-up email to come out shortly. Bye now.